Do you hate stupidly long intros? Me too. In order to play a previous version of ARC, download a program called Steam Depot Downloader GUI. Plug in the old ARC information, which you can find in a website called SteamDB. Use Steam Depot Downloader GUI to download the ARC version of your choice, along with maps such as The Center and Scorched Earth. Click on the shootergame.exe file to play. I will now explain how to do all this step by step. Franklin, Run program. Hello, survivors. I'm your host, King Dogspeed, and welcome to this episode of Arc Survival Evolved. Today, that was the wrong button. Let me try that again. Today, I will show you how to time travel in Arc. Side note. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can play Ark on the island, the center, and Scorched Earth the way it was back in December of 2016. But this method will work on other games on Steam as well. As long as you can play on a PC, own the games on Steam, you should be able to do this. Why time travel in Ark? I'll be honest with you, I rage quit Ark back in 2017. I feel like the changes they made to ARC, especially in 2016 and 2017, really ruined the game for me. Do you hate jellyfishes? Do you think whales in ARC are a pile of dog <laughs> Do I ask a lot of questions? Specifically, I hate the addition of animals that have the ability to bypass player defenses and essentially have an I win button on them. Things that, if you get close, they can just dismount you from your animal that you're riding on, can immediately steal your item instantly stun you, pass through walls to attack you, etc. I personally considered these to be exploits, and I hate it that they added into the game like this. I used to love Ark just the way that it was back when it first came out. Then they added things like jellyfishes and centipedes and item-stealing pelicans and, worst of all, leads, the whales. I can rant even more on why I don't like these big stupid whales, but to keep things simple, I'll tell you that I hated how leads can just pass through walls and attack rafts. And so, I unfortunately gave up on Ark back then. And that's the truth. However, how cool would it be to play Ark the way that it was? There's a very easy way to download previous Ark versions. Ark has a built-in time capsule server feature on Steam where you can play the game as it was in December of 2015. My friends and I have played on the standard time capsule server setting for the last year or so, which is cool, but there's no flexibility on the date. It is always December of 2015. What if you wanted to go a little more into the future? I wanted a way for us to get more content, but without going too far into a timeline where leads exist. How to time travel in ARC you still need to own ARC and the map expansions you want to play on. For example, I want to play on the standard ARC Island, the Center, and the Scorched Earth maps. The Center is free if you own the base game, so anyone can play on the Island and the Center. I purchased Scorched Earth when it came out back in the day. The reason why you need to own ARC through Steam is because to download the ARC version of your choice, you need to log in with your Steam username and password to do so. However, we will not use the Steam program itself for this process. Even after everything is set up, we will run the game without using Steam. This is partially because if you run Arc through Steam, Steam will force update Arc to the current version and you'll lose the ability to play in a previous Arc world. You basically just need to download an old version of Arc and play it. First, I recommend going to the Microsoft website and download and install something called .NET 6. You might want to get this ahead of time as your PC might need it for the process. We'll be using a program called Steam Depot Downloader GUI to help us download the ARC version. Put in the old ARC identification numbers into the Steam Depot Downloader GUI. Use it to download the ARC version along with whatever expansions and maps we want. If we have multiple downloads like that, we will then combine all of them in one folder and then just run the executable file to play. Let's now go over all that step by step. Download Steam Depot Downloader GUI. 
be sure to only download this program from the GitHub website. Programs on GitHub are available to access by the public and are open source. Smarter people than me can actually check to make sure the programs there are not viruses or do anything harmful like steal your accounts and passwords. They also have an instruction video on YouTube which is very good. Link in the description. I'll be explaining most of the same things as this video, but my information will be more tailored for Arc players specifically. Navigate to the Steam Depot Downloader GUI on GitHub. This page shows the program's information. Or you can click this link in the description to directly download the Steam Depot Downloader GUI for Windows. Let's figure out where to download everything on the PC. Download and place the Steam Depot Downloader GUI executable file directly on your C drive to keep things simple instead of inside the program files and Steam folders, etc. There will be no install necessary for any of what we'll be doing today. We will download everything and run the executable files directly. Double click and open it now. After clicking, it can take a bit of time for it to load, so just be patient. I think it takes me about 30 seconds to 60 seconds before the GUI, aka the menu, actually pops up. As you can see, the Steam Depot Downloader GUI program asks for five fields of information to fill in, plus a download location. Enter your Steam user ID and password. Something to keep in mind. Do not begin this process if you're a live streaming or sharing your desktop with somebody at the time. When the Steam Depot Downloader GUI begins to download everything, it will pop up a window that will show your Steam username and password that you typed in earlier. You don't want to accidentally leak your login information to people, so don't do this while you are live streaming or otherwise in a position where people can see your screen. Steam Depot Downloader GUI needs the app ID, depot ID, manifest ID to get the exact game and version you are looking for. It is essentially the time and location coordinates for your time travel. We can find all of this information by using two websites, the ARC Wiki and a website called SteamDB. The ARC Wiki has a page called Changelog. Every patch version that has been released is listed here. If you hover your mouse over the version numbers, it will tell you what year and date it was released. Pick a date you wish to time travel to. I chose a patch just before the addition of Jellyfish. Jellyfish were added to the game on December 23rd, 2016. So our target date was one patch before that, which is December 19th, 2016. Side note, since I wanted us to also play on the center and Scorched Earth, I needed to find out what version was going to be good to download for each. This is because Studio Wildcard did not always release patches for all the maps on the same day. So for the center, I ended up choosing the closest date, which was November 24th, 2016. And for Scorched Earth, we chose December 15th, 2016. From what I understand, choosing a date that is way off from the main ARC version can cause problems. Next, I will show you what app ID, depot ID, and manifest ID numbers we need to plug in. We can find all of these on the website steamdb.info. There is an option to log into this website using your Steam user ID and password. I highly recommend doing so as it will let you search for ARC version information from way back in the day. Click the sign in button on the top right. Type ARC Survival Evolved at the top search bar. Select it. Click Depots. Click and sort by configuration. This makes it easy to find all of the Windows files. Scroll down to the Windows files. Each of the depots you see here are basically entire game packages related to ARC. The main ARC game is number 346111, ARC Survival Evolved Content. We will start with this. Notice that on the right, it says that the size is 128.17 gigabytes. Fortunately, since we're going for a previous version of the game, the actual download size will be considerably smaller, so don't worry. On this list, you will also see the center and Scorched Earth. 
Their numbers are 346-114 and 375-351. We will come back to this later because we want to download the main ARC game first and add the expansion maps later. Out of the three pieces of info we need, we can find two of them here. The app ID for ARC is 346-110. The depot ID is 346-111. Let's go on to figure out the last piece of info we need, the specific ARC version, the day we want to travel to. This information is called the manifest ID. Click on 346-111 ARC Survival Evolved Content. This is where signing in to Steam comes into play. If you do not sign in with your Steam account at the top right of the screen, this page will only show you 10 manifests out of the currently existing 1,353. Click Manifests. Here you will see the patch dates listed as Scene Date. For December 19th, 2016, our manifest ID is 699-538-372-147-1. Nine six five five. This shows that we want to download specifically the ARC version that was available on that day. For us, the app ID, depot ID, and manifest ID are 346111, 346-111, and 699-538-372-147-147-9655. Enter the above information in the Steam Depot Downloader GUI. We will download the island data first, then download the center. You have to buy Scorched Earth first on Steam before downloading, then download Scorched Earth as well. Click Set Location under Download Location. Choose a location to download files. I recommend choosing your C drive. I do recommend having the data somewhere that is not related to the Steam files. The location of the main ARC island data is very important. Whatever location you choose to put the folder is where it will stay and you will be running ARC directly from this location. We need to keep our downloaded time capsule data separate from Steam. You do not want to use Steam anymore to start up ARC, or else Steam will override and wipe everything we downloaded. You will need about 70 gigabytes. In total, if you are to download a 2016 ARC version with the center and scorched earth maps. If you do not have that capacity on your C drive, feel free to download it to a different drive where you do have enough space, such as your drive D or drive E. When ready, click the green download button. A command prompt-esque black screen with text will appear. Depending on your Steam account's security settings, you might need to open your Steam app on your phone to authorize this login. This is when your Steam user ID and passwords gets shown, so be sure not to be streaming or sharing your desktop with someone when you start this. For the main ARC version, it took me a very long time to download. It was an overnight download. But the other maps were fairly quick, about 20 minutes each. When the main ARC version is downloaded, go ahead and do the same for the other two maps. Here are the numbers needed for the center and scorched earth. I will leave this in the description below as well. Combining the map data. When you finish downloading all three, the center and scorched earth folders are separate from the main arc island folder. So you will need to copy or cut and paste the scorched earth and the center data onto the island folder. Open the depot downloader folder, AKA the folder you chose to download the previously mentioned data. You should find three folders here. One for the main arc island, another for the center, and also Scorched Earth. Have an Explorer window open with all three downloaded folders showing. Right-click on your C drive, click Open in New Window. Have both of the windows side by side. Cut or copy the downloaded main ARC folder, then paste it to the C drive. Open the newly copied ARC folder on the C drive. Open the downloaded center folder, 346110. Right click, shooter game folder. Copy. Paste it to the ARC folder where 
another shooter game folder exists. They will combine. Next, open the downloaded Scorched Earth folder, then click 346110. Right click the shooter game folder, click copy, paste it to the ARC folder where another shooter game folder exists, and these will combine. Finally, let's make a shortcut and put it on the desktop. We will use this icon from now on to run the game. Navigate to the folder where Shooter Game exists. Go to Binaries, Win64. You'll find a file called ShooterGame.exe. Right-click on the ShooterGame.exe file and create a shortcut. Cut and paste said shortcut onto your desktop. If done correctly, by clicking the new ARC shortcut on your desktop, will let you load and play the ARC version you want. Conclusion Download Steam Depot Downloader GUI. Use the said program to download the 2016 ARC Island, the Center, and Scorched Earth maps. Copy and paste the Center and Scorched Earth map directly to the new ARC Island map directory. Create game shortcut and paste it to the desktop. And congratulations! You too can now time travel to any time of any game you own. By the way, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all your viewership on my last video. It had like a ridiculous amount of views. It had like way more, like 10 times more views than I was ever expecting. So I just wanted to say thank you. I'm just blown away. And I hope to this you found this video useful too i don't know how many people are actually going to want to play an old version of arc but if you if you did if you do want to um I, it took me a long time to figure this out on how to actually make it work because it kept on crashing for me but i finally made it work and i hope that you can benefit from it too so i think that's about it thank you very much for watching remember if i can do this you can do it too um and i'll see you on the next one I'm your host, King Dog Speed. I guess I said that wrong. Yeah, that's not how. I'll see you next time. And my buttons, I'm doing it wrong. Great, awesome. Uh, there we go. Okay, bye. Oh, that's not even it. Are you kidding me? I can't even. I can't even. Oh my god, this is bad. Uh, what the heck? Why is it? <laughs> broke it wait what the heck why do i have my ndi on no i don't even know how to get out of here okay there we go and we're good uh i think yes okay i'll see you next time dog speed i am so bad at this Using the power of the Continuum Transfunctioner, I was able to travel through time to the Ark Island of 2016. The Continuum Transfunctioner is a very mysterious and powerful device, and its mystery is exceeded only by its power. Zoltan.